BXG 0211Z driver is designed to be the most user-friendly on the market. Maximum forgiveness, low and deep CG for effortless high launch. This driver is part of a new range of clubs aimed at a very specific category of golfer. That category of golfer could be bigger than they think. Well, we're just about find that right hand side. One of the toughest holes here at Carden Park in terms of driver. And no matter what level of the game you play at, driving can be the most difficult part of the game, but it can also be the most rewarding. We all love to get that big dog out, but it's tough and there's reasons why it's tough. And this driver addresses quite a few of them. Right, so what are those issues I refer to that make driver quite so difficult to use? Well, one of them is uh, generally a lack of loft. The second factor can be the length of shaft, which means it's very difficult for us average golfers to control that club head. So what they've done with this driver, they've addressed at least two of those issues, but also looked at those three important letters, MOI. Now to me and you, MOI really translates to forgiveness. And what they claim is this to be an ultra forgiving driver. They've also put a shorter length shaft in at 44 inches as standard, and the standard loft on the product is 16 degrees. So I'm thinking all those put together could provide with a real interesting option for beginner drivers, someone with slow swing speeds, or general average golfers who are struggling with driver. Right, so what have PXG managed to achieve in terms of uh, looks on this product and also in terms of technology? What I'm interested in is how it looks from the outside and in particular at a dress. And when it sits down, I've got to say, I really like the crown. I think they've done a great job in this sort of step down at the back and it elongates and not in a way, it's probably looking at it from a side on angle. It looks almost stretched out, but from above, I don't mind the look of it at all. And it's in no way off-putting that I thought it might be when I first seen the images of it. From underneath, like I said, it's been simplified. There's just a one standard 10 gram weight that's placed right at the very back. And again, this sort of stretched out crown and the elongated shape of it is very much there to introduce that low CG and promote the high ball shots that we've, uh, ball flights rather, that we've seen already on camera. One other interesting factor for me is this is a standard driver and it comes at 16 degrees. There are no other options, but you have got an adjustable hosel which takes that up one and a half degrees or down one and a half degrees. So that's interesting. There's a bit of offset to say the least on the club. And again, that's to promote a sort of draw bias and help which the majority of beginner golfers and the majority of golfers in general suffer from, which is a bit of a slice. So that'll certainly help there. And in terms of MOI, which we ultimately know as forgiveness, it's 9% greater than that of the 0211 range that exists right now. So overall, in terms of that package, it ticks the box in terms of how it looks visibly. There's some tech packed in there. I love the idea of the 16 degrees loft, which is certainly a massive help to the majority of golfers out there who are trying to use driver for the very first time. And to be honest with you, Probably for a lot of us who've used the driver plenty enough and struggle, that extra loft is a massive help. Oh, once again, look at that ball flight. I'm hoping that's picking that up on the camera. We've probably gone off screen, it's gone that high. Again, the, the, the thing that we know is gonna happen is that this thing is gonna spin a lot. Ultimately, you know, that's a, again, can be a massive help in terms of control. Eliminate um, slice again, which we've seen that anti sort of or the, the draw bias face, closed face, if you like. I haven't leaked anything out right whatsoever. And again, that's something I can certainly do. But you've seen a really straight ball flight, a really high ball flight. And I've got to admit, I mean, so far in, I played with this a uh, few holes yesterday. And again, we started off today and I've been really impressed with what it does. That thing about it does exactly what it says on the tin. It couldn't be more true in the case of what this does. It's and you know what, again, just before I pack up this bit, is that it almost, always when I do a review like this, it questions why I make the game so difficult in the sense that I've got a 9 degree driver head, whatever it is, 60 gram stiff shaft, and we're now in a sort of reg 5.5. We've got 16 degrees worth of loft. We haven't missed a fairway all day. We might give up a couple of yards in terms of distance, but ultimately, 
it's been so enjoyable to play this club. Right, so one point to mention, and you may have seen this if you watched last night's video on the hybrid irons, and that's that these are very much put together as a box set option, pretty much an upmarket box set, but that's how they're being sold. So you can either buy the hybrid irons, I think there's six of those, then you've got the fairway wood hybrid and driver put together, or you can buy the full set of the 10 clubs. Well, that's all fantastic and a great way, like I said last night, of uh, beginners getting into golf and getting themselves a real good set put together and you've got the options of mixing it out in terms of what budget suits, but also what suits your requirements right now. Well, my question in this video to you is how many of you, having seen how I've performed with this driver, the kind of feedback that I've given, how many of you would consider this as being a viable option for you as a driver to put in the bag? Because seriously, I know this is aimed at a specific market. I know that PXG probably don't want to drive uh, customers away from their existing range, but as a driver in its own right, I think there's lots of average golfers out there that could make good use of this and what it does, which is effectively get the ball up and out there very easily, high ball flight. I've found a lot of fairways with it and it's made the game just incredibly, just, just good fun, just made it easier. And ultimately, surely we're all after that, whether you're a beginner, an average golfer, it maybe doesn't sit in the hands of that experienced pro end, but certainly I reckon a lot of us would be worth giving this a go, you know. So comments down below, what are your thoughts and what general interest have you got in this product range? Might have found the bunker there, but again, have we just, just perhaps avoided it, but again, another towering ball flight. 18th here at Carden Park, it's always a nice finish from this elevated tee position, and uh, generally you don't need to get that ball any higher, but that has gone into orbit yet again. And I think that's me done in terms of the review of this uh, 0211Z or Z uh, driver. Uh, the, the, the driver that we've looked at today, but obviously the whole range really, and like I said, I'd urge you to go back and look at last night's video in terms of the hybrid irons, because my sort of finishing summary would be they've just created a real interesting product range. And like I said, it's uh, aimed at a specific market. It's priced up, like I said, it's a box set. It's all put together for you to buy in one to simplify uh, that whole process, I suppose, and get people involved in golf. But I have genuinely enjoyed playing these. And I said uh, again to Hannah, I've referenced Hannah a few times because we've had a lot of conversations off camera. I think my performance in terms of the driver has been as good as I've hit anything on camera. We found fairway after fairway. Yeah, there's no doubt, you, you know, it's not the longest driver in the world. It's not intended to be because we're to, it's gonna definitely, if we were on dry ball data, I can see this is a little bit spinny. Yes, it's going too high in terms of your ideal scenarios, but the ideal scenario in golf as well, sometimes is just to find that fairway to get that ball up and out there, which I keep referencing. And for the marketplace that it's aimed at, it's a massive help to get people into golf to enjoy what, like I said at the beginning of this video, everybody loves it in the big dog we love hitting the ball as far as we possibly can even though sometimes it's to our detriment that's all of us are dragged into is extra yards and as long as we can so to be getting a beginner golfer being able to use driver early on in their sort of um in in their involvement in golf has got to be a real plus point for me but like i said forgetting all the beginners bit on an overall performance level one thing i've not mentioned actually and i'll finish off with it is the sound of it the sound is extremely loud and I noticed it on the first couple of shots and then when we carried on, it wasn't so much an issue, but that was one thing that I did reference. It's a really loud sounding driver. But yet again, for a beginner golfer, the idea that all of a sudden something's fired off the face may give that extra bit of encouragement as well. So no real negatives to report back whatsoever. The only thing I don't know yet is the price point and I'm sure in the next day or two, or maybe this has been released already, how much of these are all being sold for and that'll be another uh, kind of indicator as to whether or not how good this product is gonna be and whether or not it's realistically priced for outside for that beginner's marketplace. Anyway, I'm all done. What a great way to finish. 18th tier at Carden Park on a Cheshire course. Sun has been shining all afternoon. We'd have had a fantastic afternoon. So as I said, comments down below. Give me your feedback as ever, and I'll see you all very soon.